People around the country took time out today to watch the World Cup match between the U.S. and Germany. It's been fun to see people just go wild. And Fox 10 News reporter Steve Alexander was at a watch party in downtown Mobile today during the closed game and at the end of the match to get reaction. Hundred people packed O'Daly's Irish Pub in downtown Mobile, chanting, singing, and showing off their colors of red, white, and blue in the clothes they wore. I am so proud that I am repping a red, white, and blue tutu all day long, and I've got my stars and stripes on my face. Now, what is that? This is Apollo Creed from Rocky, sporting my USA gear. And on their skin. What happens if it doesn't come off? Oh, it's not supposed to be permanent? I thought it was permanent. <laughs> oh, no. Since when are so many people off of work on a Thursday morning? Does your boss know you're here? Oh, yeah. She does. She supported it. I'm all for I put USA, America. When the game started, there were some things to cheer about. But Germany scored a goal right after halftime, and the waiting began. By the end of the game, fans learned the United States would advance to the knockout round because Portugal beat Ghana, and the cheering resumed. I don't know what to think. We won, man. All right, wait, we've lost this one, but we got to the next round. I'm excited. I am so excited we're advancing. That's all that matters. I, I'm too excited right now. Honestly, I'm just, I'm happy we're moving on. It was good. Depressing, but... What is your, your animal thing here? Uh, he's biased. Now I gotta shave a mohawk because of a bet I made. Maybe it'll grow out before the next game. Reporting from Mobile, Steve Alexander, Fox 10 News. Here's a look at the second stage of the tournament. The U.S. will play on Tuesday, and the winner of that game will play the winner of Argentina versus Switzerland in the quarterfinals. The U.S. will have to beat the top team in the age group to get there. Two games are still underway that will decide exactly who it is, but it looks like it will be Belgium. The 57th annual Distinguished Young